Kia ora friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm Gina and in today's video is going to be the last video for the year. I can't believe we've come into the end of the year. It has been such a busy year this year, which has been fantastic. So today's video is going to be inspired by an early Christmas present to myself. I bought this book, 1000 Chairs, and as you can see, I've already marked a whole heap of pages that are absolutely giving me inspiration of some of the chairs that I can create in miniature and I've marked five of them that we're going to have a look at today so there's definitely a heap there and I thought this would be a great little one to add into the schedule over the next year just to kind of break things up a little bit and to kind of give me a little bit of a break so let's have a look at the first five out of this book that I've been able to create so let's get started first up on the list we have the harp chair and the harp chair was originally designed in 1960 and it was based on a Vikings ship bow section and you can really see that in actually the chair um, which gives the design a really powerful optical illusion. The, one of the things that I really loved about this chair was not only about the, the form of it but actually that it was all strung together. So with this particular chair I've actually 3D printed the parts all of the, or actually all of the chairs in this video are 3D printed. So I've actually just glued those two cross sections together because the bit that's going to take the most amount of time with this chair is actually stringing it up together. So one of the things with the strings is that it's not just about looping them all around the frame or where the holes are in the frame. What I noticed with the chair is that the the string is actually crossed over in order to give it a reasonably comfortable area to sit on otherwise if it was just looped round and not crossed over then the, you'd actually be sitting on the cross sections of the chair. It should make a little bit more sense once we get to the end of it and you can definitely see it on the finished product. The next chair up is the lounge chair. Originally it was designed in 1945 out of plywood. After the war time and where there was a lot of research into development of inexpensive and efficient methods for moulding plywood into different forms. So again I've 3D printed this chair and all I'm going to do is actually just glue it together and then set that aside to dry. Okay, and next up we have the shell chair, and this one is actually originally designed in 1963, and it was originally designed and crafted out of plywood. So what I'm going to try and do here is actually paint this up to look like plywood with mixed results. But So this is an experimental chair out of plywood and with also with three legs and to give it a really architectural look which I think that the designer definitely achieved for this one. So all I'm doing here is actually sanding down any of the high points of the 3D print. This one actually came out a little, a little bit rough on the back side of the chair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some milliput and which is basically a two-part epoxy putty and I'm going to use that to fill in any of the areas where the 3D printing has missed or where there's actually you can see the filament more, more importantly. So just on the underside of the chair and on the back of the chair as well. So I'm just going to concentrate on those areas. I'm going to set that aside to harden. It takes roughly about four hours. Um, this thin coat didn't take too long at all. Then once that's hard, I'm going to sand that back just to make sure it's all nice and really, really nice and smooth. Even though I've in the process used some, uh, my finger and a bit of water to try and smooth it out a little bit better, uh, it still tends to dry a little bit bumpy. So I'm just going to use a bit of sandpaper to, to sand that back. And then I'm going to glue the chair together. Just using a bit of super glue to glue that together. OK, 
Okay, so next up we have the Tulip Chair, and this one was designed between 1955 and 1956. One of the first chairs that had a single leg underneath it. Um, Construction-wise, the leg itself is made from cast aluminium, but the top is actually made of plastic. The designer really wanted to make this out of one piece, so due to the plastics at the time, weren't strong enough to actually cast this all in one piece. In this one, I've 3D printed it as well, and it comes in the two parts. So the aim with this is to try and smooth out the print as much as I possibly can before putting it together. So next up we have the Panton chair. It was designed sort of between 1959 and 1960 and it was this first single material injected molded chair. So unlike the tulip chair where it was molded out of two parts, this was one of the first chairs that was molded out of a single part and also it is designed to be stacked. So this chair, because it's all 3D printed, I'm going to follow the milliput method and make sure that it is as smooth as I can possibly get it. So with the painting I've got a base coat of grey primer and then I've put two coats of gloss white on two of the chairs. So to finish off the tulip chair all I'm going to do is paint the seat red. I'm just going to give it two coats of red. I'm not too worried about how tidy this is because I'm actually going to use some flocking over the seat. I'm going to give it a coat of Mod Podge over the top just to make sure that the flocking sticks to that. I don't want to get any glue on the rest of the chair so I'm using this paper as a barrier but I can remove that when I do the flocking. For the shell chair, what I'm going to try and do is paint this up to look like light coloured plywood. So I'm just going to use multiple layers of paint. I'm going to start with the darkest layer first and then I'm going to work my way up to a really light wash. And then I'm just going to varnish it to give it a little nice shine. For the seat in the back I have got a piece of brown paper that I've used hand cream on. This is a tip from my mum, thanks mum, and scrumpled up the brown piece of paper and put hand cream on it. Once the hand cream dries it actually helps hold the crinkle in the paper. So I'm just going to use a bit of black paint, paint that up and then I will cut out the different shapes for the seat and the back. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of batting to build out the back and then add a little bit of substance to the seat. And I'm just going to glue those into place.
For the lounge chair I'm going to paint this in red and to begin with I painted it with some craft paint just with a brush but I didn't like the finish of it, it was too streaky. So I'm going to get out my airbrush and paint multiple layers, multiple thin layers of paint and just to kind of bring up the richness of that red. So before I sign off for the rest of the year, I just wanted to give a massive thank you to everybody and all the support, all of my subscribers and the messages that I've been getting. I've had a really massive end to the year. Just work has been quite overwhelming and it has meant that, yeah, it has meant that I've, I've basically burned out and I'm currently in holiday mode which has been fantastic so it meant it has meant that I've got a little bit more headspace to get in and finish this video off I was hoping to get it out before Christmas it hasn't happened that way but I'm actually giving myself a break and not not stressing about it too much so I really hope that you've enjoyed that video it was a really fun one to pull together for the end of the year and if you found the video helpful hit that like button it really does help the channel and if you haven't done so already consider subscribing and until next year everybody I'll see you then bye for now